Guys, you know our house is crazy when I have to uh, come back to hiding in the sunroom uh, to start videos and do any of that stuff. Um, so yeah, it's been a little while. It is a mess. Uh, we had some snow, so the kids got to go out and play in it. We've got some snow pants hanging up on the wall, uh, some tools and stuff over there. We've got pogo sticks by the door still. Um, just all sorts of stuff. We really actually need to get out here and clean this up again. It's just, it's been cold lately. But now, uh, yesterday, today we're back in the 40s, so it's not too bad. Uh, right now, though, I'm waiting for Sean to get home with the groceries. Uh, we are doing our fill-in week right now. But, guys, I gotta tell you, we're changing things up again. Uh, we have done a solid month of the every two-week grocery haul trying to feed everybody with that. It's actually not going too bad, but Sean and I had a talk about it. And because he's doing the bulk of the shopping, his opinion really mattered in all of this as well. I thought it would be easier on him. Um, turns out it's not. Uh, he, he thought I was switching to two weeks because it was gonna be easier for me somehow. But then he realized I was struggling trying to get um, budgets and meal plans. Now, I will say, I think he was actually really working well budget-wise, but timing and everything, because he's going after he gets done with work to get the groceries most of the time, is later in the day. And when we're doing two weeks, we're getting more at a time, which is really difficult to do. Um, there, In general, when we do one week, there's a lot of things we just can't get because they're out at any given time. So doing two weeks worth, it, it was proving to be a bigger challenge. Um, I'm trying to see what all you guys can see in the reflection there. That's kind of cool, actually. Um, I get distracted really easily sometimes. Anyhow, um, yeah, so he's, he's getting the fill-in week right now. And I'm going to show you guys that here, let you know what the totals come to for that. Uh, there's not going to be a lot, um, primarily produce. Uh, I don't even think we need milk or anything this week. Uh, diapers, though. So I'll run through the totals and everything after that. And then after this, starting next week, we're going to go back to every week. Um, I did notice, too, that doing the two weeks... I, guys, I'm not really sharing the meal plan so much. Uh, I'm trying to decide whether or not that was really worth it. If you really want to know how we're planning for all this stuff, uh, you can let me know in the comment section down below. Otherwise, I'm gonna, probably going to skip that for now uh, unless I feel the need for it. Otherwise, I'll probably mention in the grocery hauls like what things are intended for. Uh, but things keep varying so much. And the kiddos that we have with us, they're really good kids. Um, we're just going through, we're going through the motions at the moment with food because we're in that phase where we're figuring out what they like and don't like. But then on any given moment, they're kind of testing waters to see, well, what if I don't want to eat this? Or what if I want this instead? And so we're, we're it's, guys, it's a balance. It really is. We do not force kids to eat anything in our house. Um, now, that being said, uh, they're not going to eat half of it and then say, oh, I don't want this. Can I have something else now? It does not work that way. Uh, but like one of the kiddos absolutely cannot handle onions whatsoever not even a little in fact i put it in one dish without thinking and he panics now over pretty much everything i make asking is there onions in this are you sure and so i have to assure him um i've even taken he's a really intelligent kiddo so i've taken to showing him labels on certain things and walking him through exactly what i have added um trying to regain that trust with him because I, he had told me he didn't like onions, and I, I'm so used to adding onions to everything. I didn't even think about it. So it's a balance. We're working on that. Um, snacks, you know, working on that too and trying to figure out everything. Uh, Everybody is loving having extra produce around, uh, although I think the amount of bananas we got this last time, they're turning so fast. They're not going to make it the two weeks. Everybody slowed down on eating them. We're going to have a lot of banana bread in the coming week um, because there is at least one bunch that is browning really fast. And again, guys, I don't know what it is. If it's just because of the time frame it takes to get everything shipped to this area, things don't last once you get it. So when you get it, you got to use it. That's the other problem with doing even two weeks worth of grocery hauls is there's a lot of stuff that just won't last. So anyhow, I'm going to go back in. I've got kids who are supposed to be doing schoolwork 
and cleaning a little bit. Um, the tricky part right now is one of the kiddos is home all day, one of the extra kiddos, and I can't show them. So I have to get really creative in how I do some of this stuff um, because it's, it's a younger kiddo and I don't want to say listening is an issue, but uh, they love cameras, so staying out of the camera is not easy. It's really hard to explain to a kiddo why they can't, and so we just we eliminate some of that. And that's some of the balance right now I'm working on. And guys, I gotta tell you, I did a whole video on some of this stuff yesterday. I'm I'm actually really kind of bummed. I did two videos I was gonna put up, and I had this external microphone that I've been using um, with this camera. This is the second time now, for whatever reason, it decided to block all of the sound instead of picking up sound. And so I spent 20 minutes doing two different videos that are trash now. Like, there's no recovering it. It's just trash. So I am ditching the external microphone at this point, and I'm going to... Um, yeah, just move on from there. And in case anybody's wondering, that is a window that, yes, is still missing from the hail last June. Um, we've got screens that have not been replaced yet. We have the stuff to replace the screens. Uh, the weather just turned too much when I was going to do it because we didn't get it until the end of summer, right? Well, I guess it was about mid-fall. And um, it's just one of those things where I didn't have time before the weather turned. The weather turned. And so that didn't happen. The window has been a whole other challenge because there was so much damage in the entire area out here from hail, um, window repair has been an issue. These are older, like single pane, almost, in fact, somebody told us that they think that they're trailer sized windows that maybe the original owner or the previous owner reclaimed from somewhere. And which is, I love the idea of reusing things, but it makes it really difficult because they're old. And so either we have to replace the entire window, which is not a standard size, um, and is not one we can just go get the same metal storm window, or we can try to replace the glass in it, but all of the glass repair shops have been booked. And so we had somebody tell us a place that they think we can get a sheet if we can put it in ourselves. I've never reglazed a window or done any of that, so I, that's gonna be something new. Um, it's been several years since we've done screens ourselves, um, but we've done it in the past, so that's not gonna be a problem. Uh, we weren't sure where the screening tool was, so we did have to pick up a new one of those. Anyhow, that's this is our sunroom. This is the disaster. I'm gonna come over here so I can show you guys. Um, my garden cart that's gonna be coming back in the house here pretty soon so I can get some seeds up. We've got those black chairs. Uh, Sean actually picked those up out of, I think it was a Wendy's or something that was being remodeled. Um, or no, those might actually be the ones from, ooh, lighting. Um, the ones that, uh, when their the bread store closed down, I think those might have come out. I don't honestly know. We have collected so much stuff from so many places. It's kind of hard to remember because like over here, um, that is actually a fossil table, as in the brand fossil. Um, and there's, oh, there's bugs on there too. Uh, guys, it's the sunroom and it is not sealed. Anyhow, uh, that table we picked up with the intention of it becoming the computer table. It's got a ridge around it. So I was actually going to decoupage the top and fill it with epoxy. Um, it just didn't happen at this point and I'm not sure that it's going to because the place we were going to put it no longer has room for it and so it has just sat out here. So we've been talking about just getting rid of that table um, because unless we pop off that top ridge it's really not usable as a table because it's like a half inch lip that goes all the way around it. Um, and then we've got, I gotta say too guys, so that fossil table we got at Herbers and they were closing down. This little bench here, we've got another one right here. There's actually another one you can't see that's identical to this one. Uh, those were also display tables from Herbergers when they were going under. Um, they're solid wood and just heavy duty. They work great for the little kids to sit on to put their shoes or boots or whatever on and off. Uh, the problem is when everything gets buried. And these are... Um, cushions for the patio furniture that we were given. We've got the cornhole game sitting down there. 
And then I have a large collection of almond milk jugs over there for the garden because I want to protect um, some of the plants that I put in. You know, we had such a rough hail season that I've got to do something a little bit different this year. We're also talking about putting up a greenhouse. Um, we're going to expand the garden in general, but I think we're gonna move it. And we have a lot of really big plans. I don't know how much of it's gonna actually happen this year, but I'm really hopeful. And we are making things work because I, I think having a garden, a truly good sized producing garden is going to be really beneficial for us. Um, Cause you guys, you've just heard me complain about the produce and access to things. So I'm gonna go back in the house here and wait for Sean to get home with those groceries. So I can show you guys all of that. I've gotta get the table cleaned and um, get moving on stuff. Micah, what are you doing? I'm putting this on. You're putting this on? Daddy just got home with groceries and you're going to wear a baby in a carrier, huh? I'm going to put this on. Just the straps so it'll fit, yeah. You're going to be such a good daddy someday too, huh? Here. Behind me, Mom. There is something behind you, and Daddy put it so the baby's facing outward and he's gonna go flying. That's why I adjusted the straps there. <laughs> is that your baby? Yeah. yeah, that's your baby, huh? <laughs> I what I can. All right, guys, here is our mini haul. I don't even have to pay it across it because check it out, guys. This is all we needed this week, but guys, we'll see if you're going to be shocked by the total at the end here or not. Um, just kind of proving my point about what produce and stuff costs here as well. All right, so starting back here really quick, we have some cookies and cream, ice cream, and Klondike bars because tomorrow we are having a joint birthday party for one of the extra kiddos that are with us, plus another large family uh, for one of the extra kiddos that is with them. Uh, so we are having a big old bash, a couple dozen of us, and... Uh, the one that's here, his one request was cookies and cream ice cream. And Sean's going to go take care of kids who are apparently fighting downstairs while I'm doing this. Got some emergency here. Uh, this is something that, you know, just anytime anybody's feeling a sniffle or something coming on, um, you know, especially the teenagers drink that, uh, you know, we, it, it's got sugar in it. Don't love that fact, but it's got a lot of other stuff and vitamins and whatnot. So, uh, it's time to get a little bit more of that. We've got four packages of the turkey pepperoni. For whatever reason, pepperoni has been a little bit harder to find recently. So Sean saw that it was in, knew that we were going to need some more, and he said they actually didn't have very much at all. So he grabbed four packages instead of just two. Honestly, guys, we'll probably go through one to two packages per meal anyhow, depending on what we're making. So there is that. We also have four packages of hot dogs. Again, when you've got 10 kids, guys, oh, one of these only has eight hot dogs in it. So, and that's even if everybody only ate one. So we get four of those. Hopefully that'll make us through two meals. De again, depending what we use them for. Sometimes they get cut up and put into macaroni and cheese. Sometimes we make pigs in a blanket. Sometimes the kids just literally just eat hot dogs. It happens. We are not against hot dogs. We just like to try and make sure that we get a little bit better quality one. Uh, two packages of Brussels sprouts. Two packages of asparagus. These are both from Sam's Club. We've got two clamshells of blueberries. Uh, clamshell of strawberries. One of grapes. Again, all of the produce is from Sam's Club. And then these Aussie Bites. Guys, I have seen these around forever. I've never really stopped and looked at them because they look like muffins. And that always kind of frustrates me with my wheat allergy. And Sean actually stopped and looked at them today and realized there's no wheat in them. Um, so he went ahead and got those for me to try. And honestly, for probably everybody to try. But we're going to give those a shot and see how they are. Guys, this is all we have this week. Let me flip this. I'm going to tell you all about those crazy totals. Okay, guys. So while Sean and Ciara go ahead and they put the ice cream and stuff away because we don't want that to melt. Uh, I'm going to run through this here. What you saw there, guys, that is $140 worth of food out here. Um, that is primarily produce. It was the two things of ice cream. The, the emergency is spendy. Uh, he said that is up to $12 a box now. Um, so that's $24 of that total. But guys, that's still over $100 for that little bit of produce and stuff. So that's what makes it so difficult. It's also why a lot of times that we don't get 
um, fresh vegetables. We do a lot of frozen and stuff because it tends to be cheaper because it does last longer. Now, not in here. Uh, there was supposed to be some diapers, which he said he kind of spaced when he was talking to me. And then we were actually going to get more frozen veggies. Um, I'm going to, I didn't ask him about it. I'm going to assume that those were out. Although he's now making a face behind the camera. So I'm going to guess that he actually forgot to look for those. Um, so... <laughs> It happens. It happens, guys. And he was on the phone with me, and it gets I distracted. I distracted by ice cream. I remember we needed ice cream, and I got distracted. So, you know, there's that. Anyhow, guys, so $140. If you remember from last week, um, we were at sitting at $510, which based on our old budget, left about $90 left over. So this puts us $50 over our old budget. Uh, we are still well under the new budget and guys, we are going to continue to keep it as close to the original budget as we can. Uh, we did up it to $1,600 a month down, uh, from the 1200 that we used to have. And obviously at this point, I don't think we're going to need the whole 1600, which is really good, but I don't, I'm not ready to drop that uh, just yet because I don't fully know how everything's going to play out. Plus, as the school year moves on, um, guys, I really love that we live in an area where full-time school is an option. I shouldn't say full-time. It's four-day-a-week school is an option. So I am feeding all 10 kids meals. Um, I shouldn't even say that either. Um, three days a week. I. But the reason I shouldn't say that is because one of those days on Fridays, our oldest is usually at work for lunch at least. But as we move closer and closer to summer or spring break coming up or any of that, I am gonna have all of the kids home for all three meals a day. And that's gonna definitely shift our budget a little bit too. Because while our schools are fully open, one thing that they're doing is the food grant where every child, regardless of anything, gets breakfast and lunch, or they qualify for it, I guess, uh, for free, which the extra kiddos would anyhow. But it turns out these kids really like school lunches. Uh, we've had like one kiddo in the past who was so excited to get to take cold lunch for the first time in his life. And these guys are not interested in that, which is fine. Um, I don't have to pack lunches that way, but uh, it's just, it's the way it all works out. So that will shift things. We'll go from there on that though. We're not there yet. In the meantime, I hope that you guys are having a blessed day. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss everything else coming up next. We'll see you in the next one.